what's popping always funky style in nature in the park right now i mean this is actually my community which i live in but it's just so dope i gotta show it off it's like living in central park so my question today what do you do when you can't tell the gender of a baby uh, this happened to me the other day so it was actually around the corner all right, you can't really see from here. <laughs> but further down, there's like park benches. There's a little setup. There's a little table and everything. I'm sitting there. The lady's very nice. She has a baby with her. This community is kind of, is more like an upscale community. So I feel like the social norms are a little bit different. So this is like an upper middle class thing. And um, I don't know how to assume a baby if it's a girl or if it's a boy. <laughs> Because the babies dress really unisex, and I feel with upper middle class people and communities, the names tend to be unisex. It's always like Eugene or something, Ryan, even though Ryan's more boy, but still, you get the point. The name is always like an in between name. So I'm talking, and I look at it, I'm like, oh, nice baby. I leave it real blank, like dead air. And then I'm talking to him, like, okay, and I'm trying to play with the kid. Hey, how are you? And never mentioning if it's boy or girl. I don't say it, I don't want to offend her, because I want her to know that I'm, I'm trying to assume, let her assume that I understand if it's a boy or a girl. But like I said, the clothes were so unisex, I had like a little like Frenchman hat on it kind of thing. It could girl, it could be a girl or a boy, I didn't know. The color was real unisex, everything. So I'm speaking to her and I'm trying to wait for her to say any cues like, come on boy, good boy. Never says it. She just says the name or something like, oh, Eugene, you look great, Eugene. Such a great kid. And then I'm trying to piece around and fill out how I'm going to figure out what the, what the sex of the baby is. And without just blurting, I really just want to say it, but I'm trying not to offend it. I'm trying to fit in what I feel like is the social norm around here. So I keep tiptoeing around. I'm just like, hey, kid, you look great, kiddo, with a great outfit. <laughs> and there's a lot of dead, awkward space, and I'm still waiting for her to say it. Meanwhile, the whole time, she never says it. She only says the unisex name with the unisex clothes, so I can never tell what it is. So... My question is, what do you do in this scenario? How do you guess the sex of the baby? <laughs> or how do you assume, or how do you just make people not feel offended? Give me something, tips, pointers. I need to know what to do for the next time. Cause I don't want to say it. You know what I mean, I start getting frustrated in my head. I'd be wanting to blurt out, what the hell is the sex of the baby? And why are you dress it so damn unisex? I, don't, I feel like, you know, other people, different backgrounds, they may put something a little, a pink bow, a blue something. Let me know what the baby is. We all, when you under one, we can't tell if it's a boy or girl. When you three, it's hard to tell if you don't dress the baby right. So, I don't know. I just feel like either dress your baby's very sex dominant, one gender, or name it a real sex dominant name, a real boy name or girl name. Or do something, give me a clue, go, oh, he's nine months, or she's eight months, do something. Don't just be like, yeah, like leaving me up to talk to the kid. What am I supposed to do? Always funky style, I need a funky solution. <laughs>